Hey everybody, Jason here. I wanted to send out a quick message and just wish everybody a happy new year. 2020 was certainly a year like no other and we've all had to adjust our lives until everything can get back to normal. COVID-19 has prevented us from doing a lot of things that we otherwise would like to have done and I'm no different. But still, this year I was able to publish 80 videos. So if you're a subscriber, likely you've seen a lot of this. Hey everybody, Jason here. Hey everybody, Jason here. Hey everybody, Jason here. Okay, hey everybody, Jason here. Jason here, Jason here, Jason here, Jason here, Jason here, Jason here, Jason here. So I sincerely appreciate everyone tuning in and checking out my videos. This year, all up, I've had over 2 million views, and so I feel like I must be doing something right. But regardless, I really appreciate you watching the little videos that I produce. For me, the year kicked off last winter. I went to Algonquin Park for a night of canvas hot tent camping with Algonquin Base Camp and a small group of friends. It wasn't my first time winter camping, but this was the first time I experienced canvas hot tents. I was curious about hot tent camping for years, so I'm grateful to Algonquin Base Camp for setting up the trip and providing the gear. If you're interested in trying a bit of winter camping, Algonquin Base Camp is definitely the place to go to get set up with their complete outfitting programs. As many of you know, throughout the year I've also been building my tiny cabin in the background there. It wasn't the best year because of COVID and things being shut down, and also in early spring I damaged my shoulder and so had to deal with that as well. Still, over the year I managed to get the walls built, the roof put on, windows installed, a door built, and the wiring and insulation finished. So even though I wish I was further ahead, the cabin is looking pretty good. I just published a time-lapse overview of the work I did on the cabin this year, so I'll add a link in the description. As for canoe trips this year, COVID-19 had a huge impact on that as well. Starting in the spring, I had an epic trip planned with uh, Derek and yeah, unfortunately, provincial parks were closed and everyone was told to stay home. It was going to be an epic trip, so we've planned it and booked it for spring of 2021. So fingers crossed that still goes ahead. I did get out a few times. I think my favorite trip of the year was to Naganosh Lake Provincial Park. Naganosh is an unmanaged provincial park surrounded by Crown land and Derek and I pretty much had the place to ourselves. The trip started out rainy on the first day but then it cleared up and we had incredible beautiful weather and the bass fishing was epic. Beauty. The other trip we did this summer was out to Tomogamy and we canoed down the Lady Evelyn River. Derek invited me to join a group of friends of his who have been getting out together on yearly canoe trips for over a decade. They were a great group of guys and the trip was really quite incredible with amazing waterfalls along the way. The days were cloudy and rainy but on our final night we were treated to a clear sky and a spectacular northern sunset. Big thanks to Derek for inviting me out and to the rest of the guys as well for putting up with me. This year I also started a new channel focused on knots and how to tie them. I'd been creating knot tying videos on and off on this channel and they were pretty popular so I wanted to try to dedicate space specifically to that audience. I named the channel Jason's Knot Channel and I invite you to check it out. With the new channel I'm happy that it already reached the initial goal of getting a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And I'm optimistic that it'll continue to grow as I continue to upload new content. Some of the videos you'll find there demonstrate common knots like the square knot or the bowline, the clove hitch, but I've also put out more comprehensive titles like Eight Knots Everyone Should Know or uh, 12 great loop knots or 20 great hitch knots and 10 paracord knots. Having had a bit of experience with these types of videos, I think I've really found the camera angle that allows a person to watch them and make knot tying easy to learn. So I'm also optimistic about 2021. 2020 has been tough on all of us, but it's over now, it's in the past. So I think we're moving in the right direction and hopefully life will return to what's more normal really soon. Anyhow, once again, thanks for checking out my videos, thanks for watching and Happy New Year.